Hey everyone, Aether here, and today we're going to be looking at a super easy dungeon Rawgold farm. The dungeon we'll be farming is Skyreach. To get to Skyreach, you'll want to head to Spires of Iraq, located in the southern area of Draenor. Even if you don't have a garrison in Hearthstone, getting to Draenor is super easy with the newly added Mage Portals located in your faction's capital. The dungeon starts off with us flying on the back of a mount, which unfortunately cannot be skipped. Use this time to perhaps take a sip of water, stretch your arms, or just think about all the sweet stuff you'll be spending your hard-earned gold on. There are a few ways to pull the mobs in this instance, but my preferred way is to aggro everything and DPS them down when I'm at a boss, then loot. If I didn't kill everything with my AoE, I just allow them to keep following me. Eventually, they'll get hit by one of my abilities. The main source of gold in this dungeon are the boss drops after all. I run straight to the first boss, instantly loot, and then keep on going. The second boss requires the mob in front of it to be killed before you can engage him, so try and kill this off as early as you can to save time. Next, you'll want to kill all the mobs around the pillar in front of the third boss, whilst line of sighting all the stragglers from before, while you wait for the boss to be attackable. The next part can be annoying for certain classes, but as a demon hunter you can just keep gliding over the slipstream of air, negating this mechanic altogether. There are certain items that can kill the mobs on the platform above which are creating this slipstream, but I feel it isn't necessary if you're a demon hunter. Run all the way to the top and kill the final boss. Here you have two options, you either run or glide back down to the start or wait for the bird who flew you in to pick you up again. The amount of gold earned from one run can fluctuate between 350 and 450 gold, which results in an average of 4000 gold per 10 runs of instant lockout. It's possible to get all 10 runs completed in approximately 30 minutes or 40 minutes if you're chilling. And that's all there is to it! It's important to note that this is by no means a top tier gold farm. And if you have the right class and gear for it, I'd definitely recommend Ataldazar skinning runs rather than this. If you haven't seen my guide for Ataldazar, I'll link it below. However, I do this farm and I want to farm some gold in a more relaxed atmosphere. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with more gold making videos in the near future, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of the day.